Waypoints in Garmin Basecamp are not just decorative accessories. They fulfill important tasks in planning and documentation. You can store a lot of information in waypoints and you can categorize them for searching in Garmin Basecamp. In this video, I show you how to create waypoints adapted to your needs. Hello, I'm Thomas, your outdoor tech instructor. In my channel, I explain how to use apps and devices related to outdoor and fitness. Are you ready? Then let's get started. As in every one of my Garmin Basecamp guides, we prepare our displays and tools to work. First, I choose the list where my waypoints are stored. This is just an exercise. I will give you more hints later on how to organize waypoints. You can just create an exercise list for yourself. Now we turn on the tools we need to work again. Right click in the empty header bar, then activate the tools detail level, edit, map products, map tools, drawing tools and edit features. Then. Select the map you want to work on. If necessary, adjust the detail level so that the map is resolved quickly enough. The simple formula is, if you have a powerful computer, it can resolve higher detail levels faster. If you have less power, you should choose a lower detail level. Now select a waypoint in your list or create a new one. I have shown you how to do this in the video at the top right. You can find the link to this video below in my video description. Double click the waypoint in the list. Then the detail window of the waypoint opens. You can change the name of the waypoint at the top. Waypoints can be sorted by name within the list. Below this you select an icon for the waypoint. The number of choices is not large, but that does not bother you. Next to the icon, you can set the display of the waypoint on the map. Display either only the icon, the icon and the name, or the icon and the nodes of the waypoint. Waypoints can also be sorted by icon within the list. Below this, you will find the position of the waypoint. If you change the data of this field, the position of the waypoint on the map changes Automatically, this is followed by the height or depth of the waypoint. Under proximity, you can set a proximity alarm for this waypoint. If, you if your device supports this feature, an alarm will start when you approach this waypoint during navigation. You may need to change the length measurement from kilometer to meter. The temperature parameter only makes sense to me if I use the waypoint for documentation. That's why I ignore it. Do you have any idea what else this parameter could be used for? Feel free to comment on my video. Below are the address details. If you created a waypoint from a POI, this field already contain data. Add or edit the data you need. In the last value you can save a phone number. At the top of the window, under the header, you will find several tabs. Until now we have worked in the Properties tab. Now activate the Notes tab. Here you can collect all the important information about this waypoint. Opening hours, experiences, description on Wikipedia or other websites, tips and much more. Imagine you create the waypoint today and look at it again in three years. You have no idea why you saved it. The notes can help you to remember. Unfortunately, I don't know if they are displayed in your device. If you know more about it, please comment here. In the lower window you can set links to files and websites. Maybe you want to link a menu or a map with additional information. This is a good feature for doing that. Now let's move on the categories. This is the third tab. This feature can be extremely helpful when searching for waypoints to plan a route. I will show you how at the end of this chapter. 
A category can be created for multiple waypoints. It is no more than a hashtag. You can have multiple categories per waypoint. In my example, the waypoint is a national park. Here you can also go camping. There is a beach, hiking trails and viewpoints. I assign all these categories to this waypoint. You can also use the categories like head and subcategories. Let's take the example of shopping. A grocery shop can belong to the category shopping and food. An electronics shop can belong to the category shopping and electronics. If you search for shopping, all shops are shown. Or you can search for the subcategory. This can be very helpful when searching a list that already contains a large number of waypoints. In my opinion, this type of filtering is better than sorting by icons and names. You can easily delete the assignment to a category. Click on the X in the category and the assignment is deleted. If you want to assign several waypoints to a category at the same time, hold down the control key and select the waypoints. Then click on one with the right mouse button, select open and go to categories. Now set a category. This has now been assigned to all previously selected waypoints. Now I will show you how to use the categories in the search. Select a folder or directly a list that contains waypoints. You can also select your library, then all your lists will be searched. Enter the category you are looking for in the search box at the top right and press enter. Activate only waypoints for the search results. You will now see a list of all waypoints that belong to this category. The distance behind show how far the waypoints are from your last activated waypoint. For example, you are planning a route to a waypoint and want to spend the night in a hut afterwards. Activate the waypoint of the viewpoint and then search for hut. If you have set waypoints for hut in your list, Basecamp now shows you the list of huts and the distance to them. We will plan a route with waypoints in the next guide. Then we can deal with this feature again. You can find the first guide to simple route planning with Garmin Basecamp in the video at the top right. As always, the link is also in the video description. Now let's go to the last step, the references. Here you can see where this waypoint is used. In which list is it displayed and which routes was it used for planning. You can remove it directly from a list here. If you delete it from all displayed lists, you will find the waypoint in the unlisted data folder. No worry, only when you delete it there, you will permanently delete it from your library. You can find the step-by-step -step tutorials for Garmin Basecamp in the playlist at the top left. I explain Google My Maps in the playlist on the bottom left. I'm always happy about your comment and the thumbs up. I'm Thomas, your Autotech instructor. See you next time.